Hello and welcome once again to Captain Goodspeed Maths and today we are talking about solving equations using logarithms. Now I talked about the basics of logarithms in the last lesson so make sure you go and check that out to, to nail down the, the basics, the different log laws, uh, the graphs of logs and uh, stuff like that. So the learning objective today is to be able to use logarithms to solve equations involving exponentials so it's all come in complete circle which is wonderful. So, uh, example one, solve the following equation for x. So we've got 3 to the x equals 2,000. Now, you could probably give that a good guess. You know, I know 3 to the 4 is 81, so 3 to the 5 must be 81 times 3, so that's going to be 2, 4, 3, and then, you know, you just keep times and by 3 until you get a 2,000. But that is not what we're going to do here. First, we take logs of both sides, so that's you know what we do we take logs so we say log of 3 to the x equals log of 2000 uh, and then we bring our log laws into play so log to uh, to uh, of a um, something involving a power the power drops down to the front uh, so x log 3 equals log 2000 and then we solve it like a normal equation so x log 3 equals log 2000 divide both sides by log 3 and you get x on its own. So x is 6.92 to three significant figures. Example two then, solve the following equation for x. So six plus four to the three x equals 950. Uh, so first, we want to tidy up the, the top, take the six over, and then we'll take logs of both sides. So we take the six over, and then we've got four to the three x equals 944, and then we take logs of both sides. So we get log of four to the three x equals log of 944. Uh, use our log laws so the power drops down to the front 3x log 4 equals log 944 divide both sides by log 4 uh, and we get 3x equals that and then we get x equals 1.65 to three significant figures dead easy so far this time solve the following equation for x 3 to the 5 minus x equals 2 to the 5 plus uh, x so we'll again take logs of both sides and we get that and then the powers drop down so we get uh, 5 minus x uh, times log 3 equals 5 plus x, x log 2 um, therefore 5 log 3 minus x log 3 just expand in the bracket equals 5 log 2 plus x log 2 uh, and just solve the equation like normal so uh, f uh, what I did is take the x over to join his buddy take the 5 over to join his buddy and then factorize out so we get 5 log 3 minus log 2 equals x log 2 plus log 3 so then divide both sides by log 2 plus log 3 and we get x equals get ready for it, 5 brackets log 3 minus log 2 all over log 2 plus log 3 and then x equals 1.13 to 3 significant figures and here's an exam type question so it's all pretty easy so far uh, so you know once you've got it into that form it should be easy peasy but this is the exam type question so a brand of invisible ink fades rapidly once it is applied to paper after each minute the intensity is reduced by one quarter it becomes unreadable to the naked eye when the intensity falls below five percent of the original value Part 1. What is the intensity as a percentage of the original value after 3 minutes? Well, what we have to do here is look at after... So, so we're going to have a look at 3 minutes. So after 1 minute, uh, it's 3 quarters of its original value, i.e. 75%. Because it said, after each minute, the intensity is reduced by 1 quarter. So if I've got a whole pie and I reduce it by a quarter, what have I got left? 3 quarters. So now, the starting point is is three quarters so after two minutes I then have a quarter less of three quarters so try and get that into your head I have a quarter less of what I have which is 75% I have a quarter less of 75% so that's going to be three quarters of three quarters ie three quarters squared which is nine sixteenths, which is fifty six percent. That is the bit. That is the key bit. It's not fifty percent. That's the, that's the, uh, bit that people don't realise. It is fifty six percent, because you are just thinking about the three quarters that you had left. I then lose a quarter of what I have left. 
So therefore, uh, it's nine sixteenths that we've got. So after three minutes, same again. So I've got nine sixteenths of my cake. I lose a quarter of that, so it's three quarters of nine sixteenths that I have left, which is three quarters cubed, because remember, nine sixteenths is just three quarters squared, so we're slapping on another three quarters, and we get 27 over 64, which is about 42%. So there you go. Uh, what is the intensity as a percentage of the original value after three minutes? 42%. Part two then. Oh, I haven't animated it. Never mind. Um, so I'll put it all on the screen. We'll just read through it. So after how many minutes does it become unreadable to the naked eye? So it would be it would be very tedious to keep going with what we were doing before, just going up in minutes until we got to five percent. So we're going to have to come up with a formula. So uh, looking at the the pattern from before we have that after t minutes it is three quarters uh to the t of its original value and we can see that right here so we can see after one minute it is three quarters uh to the one sorry about the bad brackets uh, after two minutes it's three quarters to the two after three minutes it's three quarters to the three so after t minutes it's three quarters to the t of its original value. So we now look uh, for t such that 3 quarters uh, of t is less than 0 0.05 because we want it to, to dip under that 5%. Uh, so it's not um, readable to the naked eye and it tells us in the question it's not readable to the naked eye once you've dipped below 5%. So what do we do? It's a bit of a shame there's no uh, animations here, but we've got a, an exponential and it's equal to 0 0.05. So we take logs of both sides, bring the power to the front. So it's T log of three quarters equals log of 0 0.05. Solve it like a normal equation. You get T equals log at 0 0.05 over log 0 0.75. So T is 10.4 minutes. Therefore, it's 11, the 11th minute where uh, it becomes unreadable to the naked eye. Uh, and that's it. That is everything from that question. So that is a, everything to do with logs. You can solve equations with logs. You know what logs are. Um, and, and you know how to do an exam type question with logs. If you found it helpful, make sure you leave a like down below. If not, then let me know down in the comments what I can do to make it a little bit more clear. Remember, all these lessons are uploaded to the Google Drive, so you can go through them at your own pace. And, of course, there's a playlist with all the FSMQ content in there, so you can have all the tools in your armory ready for the exam. Thank you very much for watching and very best of luck with your FSMQ.